guys, I'm going to do a few errands in a minute. Neighbors out. Neighbors out. <laughs> Uh, I'm just too socially awkward to, you know, make small talk one second. I'll be out. Okay, we'll, we'll do the errand in a minute. It is so pretty out. Wow. Can you guys hear the birds? <laughs> We're getting good weather. It's springtime. So, oh, do I have a mask? Yes, I have a mask. So, I'm going to be doing a couple errands. Um chicken i have to buy chicken at m&m meats and i have to go to the children's place or old navy i don't know i have to pick up a pair of pajamas for alex he has pajama day tomorrow at school and a lot of his pajamas are on their last legs you know what i mean so i want to get him a brand new pair to wear tomorrow for school and i want to go for a walk because that was not an errand that's a to do but I don't know if I want to walk around the neighborhood. I'm thinking maybe I'll go down to the boardwalk. As you guys know, I live on an island. My island vibe shirt. And uh, we have some pretty beautiful scenic walking paths and boardwalks and trails. And just that's all along the water. And um, I should mention, not only do I live on an island, I live on an extremely small island. Our population is like 160,000 maybe or 150. I'm not sure. In our whole province. That's like, that's crazy. Like that's literally some cities, but that's our whole place. So anyway, it's a very small island and um, yeah, so there's the water is everywhere, right? Because it's small. Anyway, I should put glasses on. I think I'm going to go for a walk, maybe along the boardwalk. I don't know. We'll see what the day, where the, where the day takes me. To my American followers. 53 Fahrenheit is the weather right now, and it's gonna go, oh, oh, and down. Oh, it's only 51 now. Do your guys' temperatures go down by twos? It's six degrees Celsius, according to my phone, but it's supposed to go up to 13 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is Fahrenheit. That's definitely in the 60s. So it's gonna be a beautiful day. Okay, yes, I'm wearing the same pants as yesterday. It is what it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so situated. I just went into M and M Meats. I got my. Sorry, I'll take the mask off in a second. Okay, I got my. Um... What did I buy? <laughs> Chicken. Um... I always get boneless chicken breasts. They're on sale this week. I think the sale actually, I think today's the last day of the sale. I don't know, maybe it's on tomorrow. And then I bought three of these because if you buy three, you save like 50 cents or something. Pink salmon, applewood, maple. They have the best salmon in at M&M Meats if you're a salmon person. I really like it because they're individually packaged like that and i'm the only one in my house that will eat salmon so it works out perfect and you actually cook it from frozen so it's like a really quick and easy healthy meal for me so i really like their salmon i always buy it when i go in for the chicken oh i got alex's pajamas this is what i did i hope they fit them i just realized i probably should have got them a bigger size but it says why do mornings start so early I think it'll fit him and then it has like the pants so he can wear those to school tomorrow and I'm thinking I'll show you so I was right here at M&M Meats but look over there giant tiger giant tiger has some really good cheap clothing decent quality it's hit or miss sometimes the stuff is like oh but sometimes the stuff is like legit like my favorite so I might pop into Giant Tiger and see if I can find like a pair of pants. You know what I mean? I'm literally wearing the same pants as yesterday because they kind of fit me. And yeah, so we already talked about that yesterday. But um, so I'm thinking I might go into Giant Tiger and see if I can find a pair of pants, leggings. I, I really, really like their leggings. Maybe one or two pairs and then I'll be set, you know 
for a little bit. It'll be summer soon, and then I'll be buying summer clothes, and oh, it's, it's so nice out, you guys. It's, like, so good. Anyways, I think I'm going to walk over there. In the winter, literally, I will drive over there. <laughs> it's, like, right there. Okay. I got my leggings. So now I have, I bought two pairs. So now I have the sweatpants I'm right now. And I have another pair of sweatpants that kind of fit. And then two pairs of leggings and a pair of jeans. So I'm good. I'm good. So these are them here. They're just plain black leggings. I got size extra large because the ones that I'm trying to fit into are a medium. <laughs> like that's, yeah. Anyway, so I got a size extra large. I'm assuming they will fit. Um, this one has the price tag on it. They're only $10. They're the Lily Morgan brand. And I really like the Lily Morgan brand. I find their, her quality is really good. There's some brands in there the quality is not as good. But the Lily Morgan brand is so good. They had some really cute stuff. But I just... I don't know what size I would be in shirts. Because I carry a lot of my weight up in my arms in... I get like broad and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what size I am right now. And the dressing rooms, I didn't even look to see if they were open. Oh, the keys are already in there. I didn't even look to see if they were open. So I don't know. I didn't really feel like trying stuff on. And so anyway, I didn't buy any shirts. So I almost bought a shirt that was so cute. I don't know. I might, I don't know. Cause I'm like trying to think of Easter. Cause we have Easter with Trevor's family. And then we have Easter with my family. And it's like, I really don't know what I'm going to wear. But anyway, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go home and have lunch and put this frozen meat away. And then I'm going to do my walk. So, anyway. See you in a minute. Getting my walk in. Although, I'm not at the boardwalk. I really kind of changed my mind. <laughs> I might make that a goal for the next week to get out there and walk. But I'm just walking around the neighborhood right now. I feel so much like spring. It's so nice. I love it so much. There's nothing like real vitamin D from the sun. Although my headphones are acting sketchy, so. <laughs> Two things. One, I'm sweating and it feels good to be sweating. And I'm definitely sweating because I was power walking, but also it's so nice out. <laughs> Um, and two, I want to share with you guys what I'm finding helpful. As you guys know, I've been feeling kind of crappy and I'm trying to rise up again and feel myself and me. Um, so myself and me, same thing. Uh, so I told you yesterday, I like to listen to the Rachel Hollis podcast. I highly recommend listening. If she's not for you, then just don't. But, um, there's another podcast actually recommended by Rachel and I listened to it today and it just something about listening to uplifting, inspirational, real people, like real talk, um, helps you just get that extra pep in your step. It makes you feel validated maybe, like your feelings are not weird and I don't know. So I'm going to tell you about this podcast I listened to today. I highly recommend listening to it if you are someone who struggles with body image or, um, yeah, basically body image. <laughs> the name of the podcast is called Body Love and it's by Amy Porterfield. And I just listened to episode one. I like to, when I start a new podcast, I like to try to start from the beginning and um so i listened to the first episode so i recommend you start there and it was so good and i literally feel like me and her are like the same person and i'm sure you guys if you can relate to me in any way will feel the same um it's only like a 35 40 minute podcast it wasn't that long i listened to it during my walk and it was so good she basically talks about how she is overweight but she's trying to learn to love where she's at while still wanting to make a change um and I kind of feel like that's where I'm at in my journey so I found that podcast so helpful and it just made me feel so validated and just normal I'm gonna double check and make sure it was called body love one second 
Good thing I double checked. <laughs> it's not called that. It's called Talking Body. Talking Body by Amy Porterfield. I bought this. This is instant coffee. I'm making myself a cup right now. I bought this a while back thinking this was instant coffee, but it's not. I drank it and it was like a whole thing. It was gross. But one of you guys said you can get the um, reusable K-cups and you can put this in it. So I'm going to look for those because I don't want to waste this because I love this type of coffee, like the Starbucks Blonde Roast. I really like this one. And I've had this instant one before. I got it at Christmas, but it, I didn't see the packaging. Because when I got it at Christmas, it was in a mug like this. And I tried it, and I've been thinking about it ever since because I really liked it. So I'm going to have it right now. Mmm, it smells good. Is instant coffee stronger than regular old coffee? I don't know. Maybe I should put it in before I put the water in, but whatever. And you guys know me and my creamer obsession. Love trying new creamers. I love finding new creamers. Well, I found this one in the grocery store the other day. It's the Starbucks White Chocolate Mocha. This was expensive <laughs> for a creamer. I, it was crazy. So anyways, I already tried this and I will not be repurchasing this as far as I can remember. I did not love it unless I, this is only my second time trying it. So maybe it's, maybe I like it, but it was not my favorite. But the packaging, oh, that smells good. Or well, maybe I will like it. I didn't like it the first time I tried it, but the packaging is so cute. I think I got sunburned today. Do we, do we get sunburned today? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't. I don't like that creamer. It just, to me, it tastes like I put ice cream in my coffee. And that's probably something people would like, but I don't like that taste. I'll definitely drink it. Um, oh, and my mom tried it too when she was over. Speaking of, she's coming over tonight for supper. I'm making chicken nachos. Uh, it was a request, so making that. Here's my chicken nachos. It's really easy to make. <laughs> Basically, just put down your nacho chips and then whatever toppings you, or I put cheese on first and then whatever toppings you want, I put green pepper and red onion and chicken and I put hot sauce on the chicken and the cooked chicken and then you put it in the oven for like 10 minutes max and you take it out and then I top it with green onion because I don't like the green onion like cooked on the nachos, I like them raw on the nachos and then we just have them with sour cream and salsa so that's tonight's supper. It's super easy. Actually, I haven't made this in a long time. Um, this reminds me of Trevor because he used to make this when we were dating and that's how I started. Oh, I touched it. Oh. That was so good. Ah, it was delicious. The nachos were a hit. Uh, the kids ate it. Like, it was so good. Uh, so mom just left. We had a nice visit. Uh, she comes every Wednesday for supper and it's always, it's always a good time. So she's having Easter dinner at her place on Friday just because of like my brother's schedule and our schedule. It just works out that way where she's going to have Easter on Friday. And we were trying to decide what to have for dessert. Like we're such food people. <laughs> it's like literally all we talk about. Um, so she's making, I didn't even ask her what she's making. Oh, I don't know what she's making, but we were talking about dessert and she's like, I don't know what to have for dessert. So I was like, why don't I make a cheesecake? Because I have not made a cheesecake since I think Thanksgiving and I, not to toot my own horn, but I make really good cheesecake. And she's like, sure, if you want to, if it's not too much. And I'm like, oh my God, no, I would love to. 
So, since we're having it Friday, I think I'm going to go, well, I am going to go tomorrow to the grocery store and pick up the ingredients. And I'm going to make the cheesecake tomorrow afternoon because I find that the cheesecake tastes better when it sits for like 24 hours. Like, it's like perfect. So, I think I'm going to make it tomorrow and then it will be like 24 hours and it'll be perfect. And I just, I don't know, I'm kind of excited. I haven't made a cheesecake in a long time. I haven't actually baked anything in a really long time. So I'm really excited for that. Anyways, Big Brother's on tonight. I said it was on yesterday, but we just tape it. So I watched it yesterday, but it wasn't like actually on yesterday. So it's on tonight and I'm very excited for that. <laughs> And what else is going on? Oh, Alex's pajamas fit him and he loves them. So he's going to wear those to school tomorrow. So today was a good day, you guys. I wouldn't try on my pants. I'm actually, I think they might actually be a little big, but that's okay. I probably should have got the large, but whatever. <laughs> I'd rather them too big than too small, to be honest with you guys. But I think I'm going to sleep good tonight because I am feeling quite tired and I know it's because I went out for a long walk and I got like a lot of fresh air and stuff and I don't know. It was a good day. I had a great day. So thanks for hanging out with me <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.